and welcome to Trinity Vineyard Church's Corona Cast. This is just a short reflection that we are sharing with you every day during this unusual time. I don't know about you, but I really like to be in control. I like making lists. I make a lot of lists and I like timetables. When it's the school holidays, I will make plans of where we're going, who we're going to see, what we're going to do each day. And I feel very, very organised. At the moment, I would say everything feels very much out of control, even internationally. Everyone is having to be responsive. There are no plans for what is happening. Plans are having to be made as we go. And individually, we've been asked to completely scrap what we were planning to do and take on things that we'd never have any intention of taking up, like Zoom home group meetings and um, living room workouts and homeschooling. We're not in control. And it's really difficult to see if anyone is actually in control at this time. Well, God is in control. He knew that this was coming and he knows what's going to happen next. And during that time, he has actually got plans for us. He is in control. He is with us and he wants to do stuff with us. Psalm 33, 10 to 11 says, The Lord foils the plans of the nations. He thwarts the purposes of the peoples. But the plans of the Lord stand firm forever. The purpose of his heart through all generations. It's not a bad thing to make plans. But when our plans are being turned to dust, we need to remember that his plans are the constant and we should seek to discover what these are. Let's pray. Lord God, thank you that you have plans for us. Lord, thank you that even though everything just seems up in the air, you've got us in this. And Lord, that you want to partner with us in seeing your kingdom come and your will be done. Amen.